Welcome to the Marketing Automation Show. I'm Joey Keller, your host. I'm sure you also ask your clients or partners sometimes what they think about the services you provide. Um, you can do this by either creating a feedback form or you can do this directly in an email. In today's part, I'm going to show you how to create a feedback form email and how to create a campaign that processes it. And we will also create a form where you can see the average score given to you during this feedback process. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button or come to my website, joeykeller.com and register. Don't forget that registration is free in general, but now I also have a supporter tier. If you are a supporter of mine, you also get exclusive content, exclusive code snippets that will help you with your uh, integrations. You can also download a bunch of templates which are not available for the free members. You also have access to the webinar replays, so you can learn a bunch of things about Modic, maybe things you haven't discovered yet. Okay, so let's see how to create feedback email campaigns with Modic. So this is our plan. We will create an email where the customer will be able to click five different buttons based on the feedback they would like to give. Uh, once they click on the buttons, they will land on a small landing page where we're thanking them for their feedback. In the background, we will start the campaign. And by the way, this campaign will send out the email as well. And in this campaign, we check out what clicks, what links they clicked. And based on that, we are modifying their values. So each client will have the right rating uh, recorded in their profiles. And when the clicks are aggregated, we are able to see a report showing us average and the individual ratings the customers gave us. Cool. So let's go and build it. What we would like to reach here today is that we create the whole process and at the end we're going to have a beautiful rating page like this where you can see the average rating of all um, contacts who rated your activity. Okay, so let's go back to step one and create our email with the rating content. Let's do, this will be a campaign email. Why? Because we're going to send it out as a part of a campaign. So the subject should be uh, rate me and it's going to be my rating email, rating email, uh, I don't need categories and I'm going to use my hello template just because that's my favorite template ever and I think it's one of the most stable templates ever created for the MGML builder. I already created the email so I'm just going to copy paste but a couple of words about the structure. So I have here two text blocks. If you don't know how this is built up, you can anytime go to my website. I have a I have a MGML tutorial for you, uh, but just to go through, these are text blocks in the columns that I have a rate the numbers below, and then I have a bunch of columns, each of them color coded, and they go to a page called this is my Modic page, and here I have a rating value which I'm trying to pass. Of course, Modic doesn't let you pass it easily, but we're gonna hack that. So. This one, this email, you can download also in your download center. Once you register on my website for free, you can access this information for free. So it looks like this, pretty simple. Rate me, and then you have here the buttons. As you can see, these buttons are referring to a website here. It's a landing page, but I'm just saying, thank you so much for your rating. Let's create that together. So I'm gonna save this and head to the landing pages. Create new. So I'm going to use this blank here. I'm going to call this rating. My Elias will be rating. This is important that to make sure that my um, email is pointing at it. I'm just going to say here, thank you for your feedback. Okay. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Okay, that's it. Of course, you should make it nicer, but we're just gonna go with this for now. Okay, let's see how it looks. Pretty. Okay. Um, so we have our email, we have our uh, landing page. Now we need the logic behind it. The logic which will send out the email 
and check where our contacts clicked. Uh, and then we need to save that value, uh, the rating value as well. And for that, we create a custom field. I actually created this custom field before. It is just a number custom field, precision zero. So you can um, save here information one to whatever number, but we're just gonna save from one to five. Okay, um, in order to make sure that someone is a member of a campaign and the campaign actually starts for this person, we need to create a segment to push people into the segment. Um, right now, um, I will just use any segment on my website. Of course, you should have something like, you know, someone who has purchased something or someone who used your services or someone who has been your customer for X amount of time. That's going to be the segment you use. And based on segment membership, the campaign will start. So let's create that campaign. I will just use a simple segment. And you will right away understand the logic behind this whole thing, how we are checking what people clicked on. So let's go back to our campaigns and create a new campaign here. I'm going to call this rating campaign. And my segment will be just, um, just me um, in this case. But this is why I say you should have here something like something like customers or world customers or whatever. So as a first step, we will send out the email. And this email will be our rating email. So rating email. I like to document here stuff because after a while you can get really confused what's going on. Okay, here we need to see what they clicked on. So we're looking for clicked on emails and we are limiting to a URL. Now, I know that our URL will contain something like this, rating question mark. Actually, I have it already, rating equals one. So this is when someone rates me as one. And here I'm gonna select uh, to update my contact with the rating one. Oops. Rating one. Okay. So I have the first one ready. I have to do this five more times. So I'm just going to make it one more time and then do it off camera. So this is my rating two. And here I also update my contact, give a rating two. Okay, let's do it three more times. Okay, not too symmetric, but it's good for us. Let's save it. Cool. And publish. Okay, so now what happens is that this will actually go out for me uh, because I do have this segment and I am in this segment, I believe. Yeah, I just checked I am in it. So let's see what happens in my background here. So actions. Send rating email. I sent out three emails. There are three people in this campaign. All emails went out. Great. So we are waiting here, decisions, we are waiting here that the person clicks somewhere. So let's open that email in another browser and click on our uh, one of these ratings. So I'm going to open my other browser and look into that email. So here's my email. Let's go to your image. Okay, so I have here a thank you for your feedback. So let's go back to my rating campaign and see if this is really uh, registered. And as you can see, I have, well, I have it actually multiple times because <laughs> I was kind of testing it and freaking out why it's not working. So I click like three times, but actually it's all good. So it should be now um, in my contact. So my contact should have a rating three. And I open my Joy double opt-in. I can see I have a page hit. Great. 
and I also have an update contact here so let's see yeah my rating is three so this is actually working and it's super cool so you have multiple benefits here the one benefit is that you really see what's going on with your ratings so you can see here by the decisions you can have already statistics here about people uh, feedback and you can also pull reports so I can go to reports and I have a rating report here uh, now the only thing is that here you will be only able to see people from a certain time so since my this test account registered long long time ago it's not in this report this refers to only to contacts registered during this time so these are all my new text contact test contacts here I hope uh, this uh, training was uh, quick and dirty you understood everything and uh, yeah you're gonna be able to use it Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button or come to my website, joykeller.com. Register for free and access all the different tutorials and content I'm providing every week. See you next time. Until then, keep automating.